It's easy to write off the 2017 Subaru BRZ, which was updated this year, as being only slightly improved. Several carefully chosen engine tweaks net Subaru's nippy little sports car just 5 horsepower and 5 pounds to foot of torque more than before. There also were some structural enhancements here and there that made the sort of difference that Subaru can't be bothered to calculate in percentages of improved chassis stiffness. Yet the road feel is remarkably improved, particularly from behind the wheel of a BRZ equipped with the optional performance package. An $1,195 option available only for the $28,465 limited trim with the 6-speed manual transmission, the performance package effectively results in a car costing $3,345 more than the base BRZ Premium. And forget about it if you eschew clutch pedals. The hardware includes larger 12.8-inch front and 12.4-inch rear brake rotors, up from 11.6 and 11.4, clamped by Brembo 4-piston front and dual-piston rear calipers, along with sack stampers and 17-inch wheels that are 7.5 inches wide rather than the standard 7.0 inches. That list looks thin. But the equipment plays well with the subtle updates made to every 2017 BRZ. Engine tweaks include a revised airbox feeding a tuned aluminum intake manifold, freer flowing exhaust, camshaft and valve train surfaces that have been through an intense polishing process to reduce friction, and a different tune for the direct fuel injection pump to reduce parasitic loss. In the chassis, Revisions include reinforced mounting points for the front strut tower brace, the transmission, and the rear struts, as well as a rear anti-roll bar that's 1.0mm larger in diameter, revised spring rates, and a reprogrammed stability control system that's less intrusive than before. The cabin of the 2017 BRZ feels more upscale, continuing a trend for Subaru as a whole, but driving enthusiasts of the sort who care most about this review will focus on the smaller diameter steering wheel that now features built-in audio controls, these were added in response to owner feedback. If you're not a fan of electrically assisted steering, the 2017 BRZ won't convert you. Still, its accuracy is quite good allowing the driver to aim the car precisely and displaying none of the rubbery histories as found in many electrically assisted systems. The 2017 car feels quicker than before. And it is, by 0.1 second to 60 miles per hour according to our testing, which we'll credit to sharper throttle mapping in conjunction with a new 4.30 to 1 final drive ratio on manual transmission cars, the previous BRZ had a 4.10 to 1 ratio. If you're looking to feel the meager difference in power from the engine itself, we suggest starting your whole 30 program the day you take delivery of your BRZ. Two damn phones, Babylon's came